up my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for taurus sun moon rising venus before we get into uh your reading taurus i want to give you guys a quick update um it has came to our attention that we have a lot of fakes out there pretending to uh create fake profiles trying to get you guys to make uh, payments to set up appointments and they never really deliver obviously because it's not me um, so if you guys see any accounts on Instagram, on Facebook, here on YouTube uh, that are portraying to be us or that are stealing our videos, uh, I highly encourage you guys to report them. Um, it's been more than a multiple of, of people coming to us letting us know that they had made payments to those accounts. They are not in any shape, way, or form affiliated with me. So again, just be careful, be mindful of that. And if you do happen to see those fake accounts definitely report them so that they can be deleted um also i've been noticing here on the comment section on youtube a lot of spammers a lot of people trying to get you to go to their account or to contact them for spell work or anything like that i am in no shape way or form like i said affiliated with none of those bastards so my advice is report those comments um I was really thinking of shutting off my comments because I see this like it's getting out of hand, but I feel that it's unfair to you guys when you guys want to comment or, you know, speak your mind on here. Um, so I'm holding back on that. But again, like I said, if you see those comments, please don't fall for that shit. All right, let's get into your reading, Taurus. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to this connection or this relationship. Let's see what's going on with you guys in regards to love and romance. Oh, whew, okay. Oh. All right, so we're starting off a bit heavy, Taurus. We have the Three of Swords, the Eight of Cups. The Hanged Man. There's a lot of waiting going on here. Um, all right, so the Three of Swords is indicating to me that you're dealing with a situation where the person has let you down on multiple occasions. You continuously keep trusting them, keep hoping for the best, or keep hoping that things will become better. Um, but again, with the Three of Swords, there's almost like a refusal of healing. So this could indicate um, holding on to past experiences when it comes to relationships. It could have been that you really went through hell and back with a specific person. Um, and although you may feel like you're ready to embrace a new beginning and move on from that energy, there is still some type of resistance uh, within you, whether it's on a conscious level or subconscious level. So what they're telling you here is the three of swords. I feel it more on the energy of reverse. So reverse is the pain uh healing healing from the pain or the swords coming out of the heart so again what they're telling you is stop vibrating from this place of uh fear the fear of getting hurt the fear of allowing people to get too close to you because you're scared that they're going to put you through the same hell that you've experienced in the past now for others of you you are in fact dealing with the person that has let you down there is a desire or a want uh to try to save this connection or to try to hold on to this connection but what they're telling you here with the eight of cups and this is in the position of the person that you're dealing with they've already emotionally moved on from this connection so the hanged man is indicating feeling like you need to sacrifice uh, but it also speaks about complacency so what they're telling you here Taurus is that it's time to embrace a new beginning move on from any person that is toxic to you, anyone that is keeping you from progress, anyone that is lying to you or that is making you feel belittled, uh, a person that usually talks down to you is the type of energy I'm sensing here. And what they're telling you here is that it's time. It's time for you to have the courage. It's time for you to pull away from that energy and to really believe in yourself above everything, Taurus, above anything. It's believing in yourself and knowing that there is a better, there is a better outcome when we're talking about your life, when we're talking about love and romance, but you need to be ready to make those moves. The six of swords is an indication of wanting and having the need to pull away, to move on with the eight of cups and the six of swords. It's time. It's time for you to 
you know, expand your wings, Taurus. It's time for you to stop dealing with people that constantly make you feel like you have to continuously keep sacrificing certain parts about yourself to make these relationships work out. Um, it's about knowing and standing your ground. Um, now, what they're also saying here is, again, for those of you guys that, you know, keep saying you're ready to embrace new love, you're ready to find love, um, you're ready basically for your happiness. What they're telling you here is that you need to shift your way of thinking in order to be able to embrace that type of energy. There is a change that needs to happen in regards to how you view relationships. So for some of you guys, it could be um, that through all the difficulties you've been through, you feel like when it comes to relationships, like they're not easy. And obviously, nothing worth, uh, nothing worth having is going to come easy. But it doesn't mean that the whole relationship is going to be difficult or that the whole relationship is going to be chaos. Uh, learn to put your foot down. Learn to know uh, when to say enough is enough and to walk away. Because I feel that for a lot of you here in this message, what they're telling you is you hold on to relationships far too long. It's like you don't know when to let go or you don't know when to give up, when to say enough is enough. And it comes at the expense of losing yourself in relationships. So for those of you guys that have been single for a very long time, uh, it could be because you felt like you sacrificed so much that there's a part of you that wants to embrace a new beginning. But at the same time, there's still fear connected to that. So what they're telling you is it, you, you need to shift that energy. You need to change that perspective in order to be able to look at instead of thinking the worst can come it's it's time for you to change your mentality and start thinking what if it turns out to be better than i ever expected because that's a different shift in vibration do you see what i'm saying so what they're telling you is it's time to release past hurts past traumas if you're still holding on to a specific individual that has put you through the ringer. It's time for you to walk away from that. And it's time for you to fully, like I said, change that perspective, uh, knowing when enough is enough, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.